Okay, uh, all right, let's start. So we're up to Simon Lamed base, uh, Sif Yud Zion. Simon Lamed base, Sif Yud, Z- uh, Sif Yud Zion. Interesting halacha. Im noflo tipas diyoy l'soycha ois. If a drop of ink falls onto the letter when you're writing, ve'ena nikeres ois, and because of it you can't recognize the letter, ein takona ligrer hadiyoy, you can't scrape away the ink, validei kach yia nikar ois, and when you scrape away the ink, imagine you've got a blob, and then you scrape it away and you can form the letter, aleph, base, whatever it is. To have a uh, apostle, because that's a problem of chak teiches. What is chak teiches? Chak means literally to, to, to sort of uh, engrave, and teich means inside it. So you're, you're engraving internally, you're sort of, you're scraping away, and you're forming the letter in that way. That's not how you should be writing tefillin or, or anything or say for Torah, whatever it is. You need to actually form the letter. You need to take the ink and write the aleph, the base, the gimel, the dalit. But if you've got a blob of ink and then you scrape away to form the letter, that's a problem of chak teiches or posel, and that that passes. Mishum deboinim v'kosav, because it says in, you've got a v'kosav, you've got to write v'loy v'chokak. And not that you engrave, you scrape away the ink and you form the letter that way. And so too, says the Machaba, in Tov, a cost of Dalas, Bemokam Reish. Imagine you've got a Dalad and you should be writing a Reish. So you want to just scrape away the end of the Dalad to make a Reish. A base, Bemokam Kof. You've got a, you've got a, a base and you should want to write a Kof. So you want to just scrape away the outside. That's no good because you haven't written the Kof, you haven't written the Reish. You've got a, a dalad, or you've got a base, and you're just scraping away that that bit. That's not ksiva of the ois, and therefore it's the problem of what's called chak teiches. Continues the mechaba, ein takona limchik hatag nesakin ois, and it's not a takona. It's not a good solution to to rub away that ois. Mishum to have chak teiches because just scraping away the edge or that little extra bit um, to form the letter. That's not ksiva, like we said, that's a problem of chak teiches. Okay, that's the end of Sif Yudzayin. Let's do the Mishnah Bura. Diyay. So, uh, some ink falls onto the letter. Imagine you started writing the letter base, and then the sofa spills a bit of ink in the middle of the letter. V'hu adin seva acher, says the Mishnah Bura in Sif Katan Samach Aleph. V'hu adin seva acher, lav dafka, ink, but any other colored uh, liquid. Im al yedei zen, nishtan es surat if that uh, this, it sort of changes the the, the 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 appearance of the letter, I will not have shaiva al ha'os. Interesting shaila. If if wax, however, drips onto the letter, afshem achasel ha'os. Even though it covers over the letter, ve'en nikeres af ve'en nikeres, and because of that, it's not uh, visible. Af al pikein mutel salik. That is okay to remove. So what's the difference? Why is it that you can't scrape away the surplus ink? Because that's the problem of chak teiches. But it's okay to scrape away the wax or the birhaloch and others explain that you, you warm the parchment, the klaf, a little bit so that way you can get rid of the wax. Mutul asalik, what's the difference? To shy ve'en mevatla ksav. Because the wax is not cancelling out the ksav. It's ve'en behaloch. It's sort of considered an extra layer on top of it and you're just removing it to reveal the ksav. Masha'inken, if you've got the actual ink spill, on it, that is the ksav, and you're scraping away the surplus ink to make the letter. That's the problem of chak teiches engra- of internal engraving. Okay, samach base says the Mishnah Bura uh, That means it falls inside the letter. Says the Mishnah Bura bein she noga hatipa begufa oiselo. Whether it touches the actual body of the letter, vuadim nafla tipa al al kavi ha ismamish, or it falls on the actual. Uh, letters, the, the lines of the letters themselves. And it can spill, the ink can spill beyond the letter. Uh, that now the letter is no, is no longer recognizable. The Eina Nikeris is not recognizable. Whether it begins to look like another letter, in other words, you wanted a Chof and now it looks like a base, you wanted a Reish, it looks like a Dalit or something like that. Um, for example, you want to, you've got a base, and then a bit of a letter, uh, an ink drops in, and it uh, it becomes a pay. Yeah, that's the famous uh, Torah Tamima. The Torah Tamima says, uh, when it comes to Mara, they were given various mitzvahs, and one of them was Kibbut and, uh, Avayim, and it says, Pora Duma, I think it's that way around. 
So he said it's a, it was a printer's error. What was the error? It says, and then a little drop fell in and became a pay, para duma. You have these errors. Or it, it loses its feature of the letter and it has not no longer called by that letter. For and other letters too, even if a little bit of the yud is missing because of this extra ink spill, whether it's on the right side or the left side, either part of the yud, either the side of the yud or the, the bottom of the yud, either way it's, miss, it's, 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 it's blurring and it's changing the actual appearance of the letter. Parcel, that makes the ois parcel. And, you're, and therefore, it's uh, your turn no good. If you're not sure whether it still has the tsura of the letter in question, like we said yesterday, you show it to a child who is not uh, overly wise, not overly uh, foolish, and uh, an average kid, and then you show him, and he can determine whether or not it has the tsura of the letter. If it does, then it will be kosher. Ligro, so the Mechaba said, Ein takona ligro hadyoi. You can't, if you've got the blob, you've got the spill of ink, it's not a takona to scrape it away. Even if you take the quill, which you're writing with, on that letter, after you've scraped it away, that doesn't help, says the Morgan Avram. Even if the drop of ink is still wet, Adain, for her is kvarnis yabish, and the and the letter has dried up, and the spill is still wet. You still got a problem. We don't say it's like the wax that it's a cover on the letter. Because before you fixed it, before you rectified the problem, you've uh, changed the tsura, the appearance of the ice. Chak is pirush shechaykik hatoich shel ha'ais osvivov. You're scraping away around the letter, and therefore what remains is the letter. That's a problem because you haven't done ksiva, and uh, it's it's uh, it's chakika. And we need the kosav of loyev v'chokak. Says the Mishnah Berurin Samach Zayin. For Zeh Gamkein Chakika Mikrin. That's called Chakika, scraping away the surplus ink. Given she'enoi oisim ma'isa begufa ois, but you haven't done a ma'isa in the actual guf of the letter. Ella yigro Gamkein katsas mi ois. You've just scraped away the extra part of the letter. Actually, yisha tsuroso until there's no tsura left or love. Achach yiskageno. What should you do therefore? This is what Shmuel asked yesterday. What is the takana? The takana is you. You scrape away the whole letter and then you rewrite the letter. Ah, you need to write Kasidron. We're talking about, as Mishra is going to say later, where, where you haven't written yet the next bit. So you've written Shema Yisrael on the Lamed and you've got an error on the Lamed. You can scrape it away and write the Lamed. But, you, but once you've done the rest of it, you're going to have a problem. So says the Mishnah Baruch at the top of the, the top line of uh, page 92. And the Yigro Gamkin Ksasmi Ois, the Eitz is to scrape away some of the letter and then to rewrite it. Atchelo Yisher Suros until you haven't got the Tzura Olov. Va'achach Yisakenu. Ve'im lo Yikos Vadai Nach Ois. You then you fix it up and you write it. So long as I just said you haven't written subsequent letters because then you've written Shaloi Kasidron, which is a problem. The Lav Hachi because if you've written subsequently, possible Tvinim Mezuzah to Boinim Kasidron, you've got to write it in order. You can't rectify previous writing. You can only rectify what you're doing now. And the whole problem is because the ice is not recognizable. And you've therefore undone, you've cancelled out the original writing. If, however, you have not changed the appearance of that letter, you can then erase a little bit of the dio. doesn't make a difference if the ink falls into the hole, the vacuum of the letter, the middle of the hay or something. Or on the letter itself. Sorry, it's and you've widened, you've thickened the roof of the letter, or the, the leg of the letter. In that situation, it's not called chak toiches. Because the letter is still recognizable. Umidina continues the mission bureau. Even in that situation where it's slightly thicker, you don't even need a tikkun. It's just good to fix it. And therefore, you can fix this letter where you need Kasidron. And don't wait till after you've done the next letters. Do it now. And no furthermore. The Shulchan Aruch is talking about where this bit of ink 
falls after you've even completed the letter. And certainly if, it's, if it drops onto it before you've completed the letter, the gomar mitchil and then you've uh, finished the vegomar mitzchila ha'ais ve'inikaradain, and it was no longer recognizable. To bezel kula almasoverin de ain takon abugras hatipa, because there everyone would agree if the letter is not recognizable and you're scraping away to form the letter, then you've got a problem. To have a loy hoya lov me'erim shemois, because it never had the shame of a letter. Rak atal is a grira. It's just by scraping away the extra ink that you form the letter. Vahavi chak teiches mamish, and that is exactly the problem of chak teiches of internal engraving, which is a it's not ksiva. Achim gorar mitzchila hatipa. But if you initially scrape away the right to atal ligmaris, and now you want to finish off the letter, then beze yesh day has been a poiskin. Then, you, you, in other words, as you're writing, you sort of imagine you're writing the base. So you write the top base and a bit smudges. So you want to scrape that away and before you finish off the base, that's the discussion, that's the machlikas in the poiskim, because you haven't yet finished off the tzura. So it's not yet a tzura of a base. You scrape away the extra ink and you finish off the base. Some say yes, some say no. The haradach, I'm not sure who that is, haradach soiver lo mahani, it doesn't help you. Because once you've started the letter, you've got to scrape away the whole thing and then write away the letter from the beginning. Why? To Svirile, because he's of the opinion, to Kimon Shenofla Hatipa Al Mixas Ois, since uh, since um, the, the tip of the drop of ink falls on some of the letter, Nispatl Nimenu Shem Ksiva, then it's taken, the, 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 the name of writing is no longer there. For Havi Chakika Balma, and you're just scraping away, and that's not called Ksiva. Or Mama Hani, if Afim Yigoma Alide Ksiva, and finishing it off, just doing a little bit more Ksiva doesn't really help me because the formation at the beginning of the letter was through Chakika. For Kol Shakenim, Noflo Ala Klaf, Tipas Yom Mamish, and certainly if a proper drop of ink falls on the ice, for Nasikam in Chatsi Ice, and it becomes like half a letter, to Lo Shari Lahashtim Ois Alide Ksiva, that you just Finishing it off doesn't help. However, Vabis Yosef Haramo, Mekilin Bezer, they are Fidu Bezer, they are Mekel in this particular case, again, where you drop a little bit of the ink, and it, or you write the top of the base, the top uh, part of the base, and a bit of ink falls, they want, and you rub that out and you finish off the letter, they're Mekel with that. Uh, they say the whole problem is when you complete the letter by way of engraving, that's the problem. They actually are machmir. In other words, you imagine you imagine you top the you start the letter base and a bit of ink drops. If you were to move that ink and to help use that ink to form the rest of the letter base, that would be okay because that's ksiva. Okay, let's finish off. Samaches, ein takona, we said. Uh, if you want to do a, a race and by mistake a bit of ink falls and it make, becomes a dullard, there's too much ink, just to scrape it away doesn't help you because you're, you're not writing the race, you're sort of removing the extra bits and it suddenly uh, the race appears. Ain't takona to just drag it away, Pirush. Anide Mechika says the Mishnah Burin Samaches. Al Pirush, Anide Mechika, in takona. There's no takona by scraping away the extra amount. Avamutu la hoisiv dio velasose ogl. What you can do is add extra ink and to sort of round it off. Vachenim tov, a cost of reish, welcome to Adelif. But the alternative is you wrote by mistake. Instead of writing a dalad, you write a reish. The kaf mokum base for how your osis oven and the letters were thick. Ain't takon shigrim v'yamidim betmunas dalad or base. You can't just sort of spread it to suddenly create the bigger letter dalad or base. Avul mutul lahosif alendio, but you can add extra ink for lasosim betmunas dalad or base and make it into a dalad or base. The chenim tov the cost of mokum zayin nun pshuta. So too, if you had a zayin and you want to write a nun pshuta, ain't takon shigrim v'yamidu la zayin. You can't fix it up and drag it to make it into a zayin. Does it have a that is exactly the problem of Chag Teuches. You've got to erase that letter. Imagine you wanted to write a Dalit. And by mistake, for whatever reason, you write a Hey, you add a little foot to the Dalit. You've got another problem. You can't just scrape away that foot because, again, you haven't written the Dalit. You've, you've written a Hey and you've erased that foot of the Hey to make a Dalit. 
the doyme le sama chubeis you know for tipa dio shom when it's got to tzmunas on a day zev the loyman igurus a tipa scraping doesn't help mishum the ain oisim meisah begufoyis because you haven't done a meisah in the actual letter for hachanami ki ay gavna and at zorich ligra gam kein ktsas hagaga cheshe kmo vov or ligra you got to sort of change it as if it's another letter or ligra hayere chachila yishoy tzuras talad alav so that it no longer has the appearance of a dalad, and then you can fix it up. The bottom line is, scraping away is not called ksiva, that's a problem of chaktoiches, but writing does help. Sorry, shema'abeha is that you thicken the letter from a medalad reish, from a reish you make it into a dalad, a mireish dalad, shekosev atag, if you thicken the letter. Or le'inyan shaloi kasidron na'apechu. But with regard to uh, problems of shaloi kasidron, we need to write it in order, goyre kosha, there scraping it away and then writing it as kosha. Kagoin bedibuk ois la ois, if you've got uh, letters which are formed together, scraping it away helps you. You're just scraping away two letters that have joined together. The cursive puzzle, but if you're writing it, then you've got a problem. And what which we that which we said, you're you're adding ink. That's talking about what you haven't written, like I said earlier, the subsequent letters, because you've got to write it kaseda. Samach tes nimchek atag to raise the tag. Vafilim achach yimshech gamkein gago v'tachtir to shalakaf loy mani. Even if you then afterwards you extend or you pull the gag v'tachtir to shalakaf and the letter of the kaf, that doesn't help you. The belaf hachitz ras alei because it still looks like a kaf. You haven't quite finished it off. So you've got to. So the, it's interesting, you know, when you go to a sofa, whether or not he fixes it up, and after you don't know this. You've got to, you can only buy from a sofa has tremendous Yerushalayim because how are you going to know whether he fixed it up? These are things that only he's going to know whether he wrote it initially or whether he scraped it away. So th- these are things which, uh, which you know, you, that's why you need to make sure that the sofa is, has, the person who actually writes it, A, knows the halachas and B, has Yerushalayim that he keeps all of these halachas and writes them properly. Okay, Peseda, we'll leave it there.